Good morning. Well, good morning to you, too. So yeah. nice to speak to you bright and early this morning. <laughs> Might I introduce myself? Oh, please do. My name is Lord Thomas. I am in Her Majesty's Court. I am from the, uh, the Earl of Camden Glen, north okay. of Hollygrove. All right. And, and it's nice to meet you. What, what should I call you? Just uh, Lord Thomas would be quite Lord, sufficient. Lord, Lord Thomas? Okay. Yes, right. right. I didn't want to step on any toes there, uh, Lord Thomas. So, well, yeah. especially my toes, as I'm wearing soft-toed shoes at the moment. Uh, okay. So you're, you're, part, you're uh, with the Renaissance uh, of uh, Michigan here, the festival that's going on? Correct. I'm with the, the uh, 16th Annual Michigan Renaissance Festival. Okay. And we uh, are located in Holly, Michigan, just uh, north of I-75 off Dixie Road. Okay. We've been running now for one week, and we'll keep performing until the end of September. If any of you can get over here to see us, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, well, what, what, uh, if somebody gets over there to, to see this, what do they, you have to offer as far as music and dance and everything else? Well, we have so many things for people to see and to do as well. You see, uh, this is our 16th annual festival, and we've got uh, craftsmen who make their own goods, everything from glassware to pewter works to hand weavings, printing presses, and that sort of things, okay. uh, all the way over to shows that perform on our seven fully blown costumed stages there okay. that the people can see throughout the course of the day. And then, of course, if that isn't enough for them, there's plenty of food to be eaten around the festival. Now, I heard when uh, some of the areas when they, when they offer you food, you get big hunks of chicken. <laughs> it, well, uh, of course. Of I mean, course. Uh, what is the Renaissance without walking around with a big turkey drumstick <laughs> eating it, yeah. getting grease all over your face, oh, and then, of course, growling at people who might look at your drumstick longingly. I mean, what would the festival be <laughs> if you didn't have that sort of thing? It, it's quite, quite large, too. I mean, it, it's, uh, I, I see a, a map here of the uh, Renaissance Festival. Oh, and, uh, yes. Yes, it is very large. We're seated on several acres, and uh, it would take at least a day for everyone to see everything that is at the festival. Right. There are over 300 performers and uh, a couple of hundred craftsmen alone. Okay. Now, um, you're, I would imagine you're at the uh, North Kings Boulevard. I would, is that, was that where you're located at? Well, yes, of course. Uh, my position uh, this particular season is in the royal court with their majesties. You see... We are very sad this year, as uh, King Edward and Queen Catherine will be relinquishing their, their crowns. In fact, this coming weekend, they will be relinquishing it to uh, King Edward's brother, uh, Prince George, and, of course, the Queen's sister, Princess Gwendolyn. So we're very sad that they shall be stepping down from the reign of nearly 10 seasons, as it were. Okay. But we're quite confident that this new royal court will be uh, very very competent in, in their ruling over Hollygrove. Okay, okay. And, so. and, and, of course, when you're in the court, you travel all over Hollygrove, uh, whether it's the North Kings Boulevard or the West Shire or the South Shire or East Shire. Okay. Now, now the Blue Care Network, is that like some kind of a health plan over there? Or <laughs> oh, yes. You know, you never know when you're <laughs> going to take a lance in the leg or something like that. Uh -huh. And you've got to have a good health plan, as it were. You see that the Blue Care Network is that one of the sponsors, in fact, of a very lovely part right in the center of the village there that is constructed in a, a medieval uh, Renaissance sort of a atmosphere, okay. especially for the young ones of the village who come to visit. Okay. And uh, the Blue Care have uh, sponsored several games that the children can play. There is, of course, a climbing castle and a, a, a sand pit and that sort of thing to go on, an animal petting farm, okay. and, of course, there's the Blue Care Dragon, just recently named this past week. Uh, his name is Frizzle. Okay, so they have dragons too. And any, any, I, I take it then uh, the Blue Care Network doesn't take care of any amputations or anything like that. Then, well, they do the best they can. You know, <laughs> I, I mean.